Introduction to Coco's 2D Coco's 2D is an open source 2D game framework. This framework is available for iOS, Android and also other devices. In this section, we are going to learn the basic for developing Coco's 2D applications in Xcode. Let's start by creating a new Xcode project. From the screen here, we have to select the Coco's 2D template under the iOS section. Since we are going to see the basic Coco's 2D framework, choose the Coco's 2D framework. Press Next to go to the next page. Here, give a name for the project and press the Next button. As we can see, Xcode is prompting us to choose the Save Location for the project. Select the location for saving the project and press the Create button. Our new Coco's 2D application is now ready and is opened in the Xcode window. Now let's build and run the newly created project and see how it looks like. As we can see, the project runs with the default Coco's 2D logo as the splash screen. The landing page consists of a white colored Hello World text displayed in black background. We can also see the frame rate of the project displayed at the bottom left corner of the screen. Frame rate 60.0 or closer will mean optimal performance. Let's stop the execution of the project and verify the contents of the sample project. As we can see in the Project Navigator, a simple Coco's 2D application will create an app delegate file, root view controller file, hello world layer file, and a game config file. First, open the app delegate header file. In this file, a UI window object and a root view controller object is declared. Now open the app delegate implementation file. Here we can see various methods implemented by Coco's 2D framework. First is the remove startup flicker method, which is used to remove the startup flicker. Then we can see the application did finish launching method. This is the method which will be called once first when a Coco's 2D application is launched. In this method, the UI window object is created and initialized. After creating the window object, the director type of CC director is set. Now a CC director object is created using shared director method of the CC director. CC director. Before proceeding, we must understand what a CC director is. CC director is the component which takes care of going back and forth between scenes. It is a singleton object. It knows which scene is currently active in the application and also handles a stack of scenes to allow things like scene calls. Scene call is the process of pausing a scene, putting it on hold while another scene enters and then returning to the original. CC Director is the one which will actually change the CC scene after a CC layer has asked for push, replacement, or end of the current scene. Now coming back to our example project, the properties for the CC Director is set once the object has been created. If we go to the end of the application did finish launching method, we can see the hello world layer scene run using the run with scene method of the CC director. We have to import the hello world layer dot h file in this file to make it visible to the current working file. Now let's jump to the hello world layer interface file. Here we can see that the Hello World Layer class is created as a subclass of the CC Layer class. Also, the Coco's 2D.h file is imported so the Coco's 2D classes are accessible inside this class. Here we can see the declaration of the scene method, which returns a CC scene object. Now open the Hello World Layer implementation file. Here we can see the implementation of the scene method. Inside the scene method, first a CC scene object is created using its node method. A node method of a class will alloc in it and auto release the object that is created using this method. Similarly, we can see the creation of Hello World Layer object. After creating the object for the Hello World Layer, that object is added to the scene using the add child method of the CC scene object. Now the resultant scene object is returned from the method. The init method of the hello world layer will be called while using the node method while creating the object for the hello world layer class. Inside this init method, the contents that is available on the scene while the project is run is added. 
As we can see, a CC label TTF object with the label as Hello World of Font Marker Felt and font size 64 is created and added to the layer using the Add Child method. The label is positioned using its position property. The window size of the device in which we are running the project can be obtained using the wind size method of the CC director. We will be using this value to position the items in the layer relative to the screen size. Now let's build and run the project once again to see the code in action. We can see the Hello World label added to the scene. Now go back to the code and let's change the label from Hello World to Hi. If we run the application now, we can see that the label added to the scene has its text as high. Let's add a background image to the scene. For this, open the Hello World layer implementation file. Here inside the edit method, let's comment the line of code which adds the label to the scene. We can now add the code for adding a background image to the scene in here. All the images in the Cocos 2D is to be added as CC Sprite. So we have to add the background image also as a CC Sprite object. For that, first we have to create an object of CC Sprite and have to give the name of the image file to be added as string. The image file name is given to the CC Sprite object by using the Sprite with file method of the CC Sprite class. If we are giving the file name as empty string as we have done in here, then the application will take the default splash image of the Cocos 2D as the image file. Now we have to set the position of the sprite object using its position property. Now last but not least, add the resultant sprite object to the scene using the add child method. We have to make sure that the elements that we are creating should be added to the scene using the add child method. Otherwise it won't be displayed in the scene even if it's created. Now we can go ahead and run the project. As we can see, the Cocos 2D default file is added as the background of the scene. Now let's try adding another image as the background of the scene. Since we have no image file to be added as the background, let's add an image file to the project first. This can be done by right-clicking at the Project Navigator window and selecting the Add Files option. Now the Finder window will open from which we have to select the image file we need to be added to the project and press the Add button. We have to make sure that the Copy Items into Destination Groups folder and the Add to Targets target is checked. Otherwise, it will only create a reference of the file added and when we try to copy the project into another system and try to run the application, the resources won't be there. We can see the image added to the project navigation. We can also add a file to a project by dragging and dropping the file to the Project Navigator window. Let's change the name of the file to be added as the background to the name of the image file that we have now added to the resources. In this example, it's bg1.jpg. Now if we run the project to see the code in action, we can see the background of the image is changed to the image that we have added just now. The image is not covering the full screen because the original image size is less than the screen. So Cocos 2D won't resize the image size to fit the screen. Now, let's add another image of different size, which will cover the whole screen. Now change the name of the file for the background sprite as the new image file. Build and run the application to see the change. As we can see, the new image fits right into the screen. Next, we are going to see how to create a new Cocos 2D file and add to the project. For this, first right-click on the Project Navigator and select the New File option. Now, one window will appear where we have to choose the template for the new file. Since we are creating a new Cocos 2D file, let's choose the Cocos 2D template and press the Next button. In the window which appears, select the base class for the new file to be created. Let's use CC Layer as the base class for now and press Next. In the next window that appears, give the name for the file. We have to note that the name of the file will be the same as the name of the class created. We have to make sure that the current target is checked in the Target section and press the Create button. Now our new Cocos 2D file is created and added to the project. 
open the interface file of the newly created file. There we can see that it is created with CC layer as its base class. Now we have to declare the scene method for the class. Next step is to implement the scene method. For this, open the class implementation file. Here implement the scene method and the init method as we have seen in the Hello World Layer class. You can also copy the methods from the Hello World Layer class itself. But after that, we have to make sure that we edit the content to suit the current class. Now we're going to see how to load a new scene in Cocos 2D. For this, let's open the Hello World Layer Interface file and declare method named Change Scene. Now go to the corresponding implementation file and implement the Change Scene method. Inside this, we write the code for changing the scene. This can be implemented using the Replace Scene method of the CC director. The parameter passed to this method is the scene method of the class whose scene we are loading. Here we are passing the scene method of the new class, new scene that we have added. Currently it is showing error because the class name new scene is not visible inside the hello world layer implementation file. So we have to import the new scene.h file. Now we can see that the error is gone. So we have written the code for replacing the scene. Now we have to call the method change scene to replace the scene. Let's write the code to call the change scene method after a delay of say 20 seconds in the init method of the hello world layer class. This can be done using the perform selector with object after delay method. This means that the method change scene will be called 20 seconds after the edit method is called, i.e. the scene will be changed to new scene 20 seconds after the hello world layer scene is loaded. Go ahead and run the application. We can see that the app starts with the hello world layer scene with the background image. Now let's wait 20 seconds. The Hello World scene is replaced with a new scene scene with the label new scene label added.